Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say my thought, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to cannon. Not wasting my time, not wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better. Knicks fans, I know y'all was waiting on me to make this video, right? Currently, the New York Knicks, since I made that video over a week ago, and since that trade happened, the New York Knicks are on a five-game winning streak. And OG Ananobi looks like the perfect addition for this team. So, in today's video, we're going to be talking about, I admit it. The New York Knicks look amazing right now. I was wrong. <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Will. We're back and get with another video. So, huh, it's a tough one, man. It's a tough one for me because I hate admitting that I'm wrong, but I admit it, y'all. I was wrong. And what I was wrong about, yes. It's still, in my opinion, it may have quickly was a big loss. But what I appreciate all everybody that comment commented on the video. I was reading all the comments and I got a lot of good feedback. And one of the comments was one one person said that yes, losing Manuel quickly hurts, but he had to be he had to get traded on another team for him to be a starter eventually on another team, for him to blossom on that other team. And on top of that, the Knicks needed a different direction because we know RJ Barrow was not flourishing on the Knicks. And so they had to make a move and OG Nadanobi was the move. And my original point why the trade what makes sense but it's not gonna be make a difference is they lack bench death. And the whole time with this Knicks, the Knicks organization over the last decade. They was trying to get a superstar, right? And so they kept, you know, falling back and, and just taking mediocre deals. That was my original point. But now I look at it right now. This might have been the best thing the Knicks have done in a minute. And I'm explaining this why. Okay. The New York Knicks, their five-year win streak. They beat Philly on the road with Joel B playing and Tyrese Maxey. They beat Minnesota at home with Carney Towns and Rudy Gobert and Anthony Edwards playing. And last night they beat the Portland Trailblazers. I believe they beat some other the other the other two teams. I forgot. But not only did they beat them, they blew them out. Good fashion. They held the Portland Trailblazers at eighty four points. They held the Philly, Philadelphia 76ers in 92 points on the road. And Minnesota, who's the best defensive team in the NBA, they held them under that too. This team is or is an orchestrated Tom Thibodeau New York Knicks team. This is a perfect Tom Thibodeau team. And that's the biggest point why they made this deal, in my opinion. They knew they couldn't get Donovan Mitchell at this point. They knew they couldn't really get a superstar at this point. And yes, still in my opinion, to win a championship, you need a superstar. But Knicks already have two All-Stars. Julius Randle. Now, y'all know how I feel about Julius Randle, okay? He has been hoping, but I got to see what he does in the playoffs. I got to see if he actually develops a right hand for once, Right? Jalen Brunson has been amazing, okay? He's been uh, really good. No issues with Jalen Brunson's game. Y'all adding OG on and OB, it looks like y'all be couldn't become the best defensive team in the NBA. He can, def not only he's a great defender, he can defend, he's very versatile defender. And offensively, he's the perfect addition offensively. Stay in the corner, knock down trays. 
cut to the basket, you leave other shooter, shooters open. You space out the floor more for Julius Randle to operate. You give a break away from Jalen Brunson. And then on the people coming off the bench are stepping up. You got Miles McBride. I don't know. I believe Quentin Grimes is still injured right now. I don't please quote me on that. I don't I haven't really seen him play. But like I said, yeah, Miles McBride coming off the bench really getting good minutes. Remember, y'all lost Mitchell Robinson, but Isaiah Hardenstein honestly has been one of y'all best players this year. He has been hooping, doing the little things for this team, right? Getting big time rebounds, getting steals, getting blocks, defending, getting in the passing lanes, unlike the Milwaukee Bucks do defensively. This team switches great. This team switches amazing defensively. They get into the passing lanes. They act up with their hands. They block a lot of shots, actually. It's hard to really score on this team, especially when they added OG Ananobi. And oh, the addition of OG Ananobi completes the whole validation orchestrated team for Tom Thibodeau, who was a defensive-minded coach. So this is a perfect situation for him to coach his team. Takes pressure off of him. Now, still, they need a little more. They need to try to pick up a player from the, on the bench that can really energize the team off, off the bench. But, honestly, what I'm, what I'm looking at right now, the Knicks have a chance to make some noise in the East. You look at Milwaukee. Defensively, they're horrible. I believe the Knicks can really, I don't know about knocking them off, but they can give them a shot. If we're talking about playoffs right now. Miami. Look out for Miami. Miami is literally the same team as last year, but they added Jaime Hawkins. Even though Jimmy hasn't been playing, we know what Jimmy playing to the table, especially playoff time. And when you have Jaime Hawkins hooping like this as a rookie, it's going to make the all-rookie team. Miami is a team record. That would be an amazing matchup. The Knicks versus the Heat. That would be an incredible matchup. When they ha it happened last year, so that's that's a team that can really challenge the Knicks because they play they play kind of similar. Philly, MB, Tyrese Massey, and the rest of the squad. I honestly think the Knicks can knock them off in six. We're talking about right now. Defensively, they're gonna key on Jordan B. It's gonna be up to the others. Especially Tyrus Matching knockdown shots. The Knicks defensively have been crazy. And Boston. They can give Boston a shot. They can give Boston a shot. Now, I'm not going to over, over, over yet for the Knicks. Yes, it's only a five game win streak. But yes, they have looked incredible. And mostly because of their defense. But offensively, OG Ananobi is playing great. Just filling in the role that he's doing right now. And this is proving that they don't need a superstar no more. This is the perfect orchestrated team for them. This is what they need. Yes, they need a little more bitch stuff. But that's about it. The Knicks have a shot in the East, y'all. And like I said... I was wrong. My whole argument wasn't was incomplete. And I, I'm not afraid to admit it. Yes, I hate admitting it. Y'all got it, Knicks fans. Y'all continue hooping like this. Look out, Eastern Conference. Y'all, y'all are going crazy. I need to see y'all going against Boston. I need to see y'all going against the top, top tier teams. In the NBA, not just in the East. If I could be those teams, Knicks fans, New York, stand up. That's all I got to say for this video. If y'all enjoyed, give me a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Knicks fans, comment down below your thoughts. Yes, I admit it, y'all. Um, by the way, this was a win-win trade. I admit that. The Raptors look good, too. Yes, they lost to the Lakers, but they sort of won that game. The Raptors look good. Okay, This is a win-win trade for both both. Both situations, both squads. And I appreciate y'all tuning in this video. Give your ball a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Like I said, 
Give me to the thousand subscribers. I appreciate y'all tuning in for these videos. Being bold, willing and out.